Good evening and welcome to the final of the inaugural Apex Mixed Scotch Doubles Invitational. We are live from the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in beautiful Las Vegas. And we have Chao Chao Yu and Chan Jun Rin. Alex Zakis and Kelly Fisher. And what a final this is going to be. Best of three sets. Races to four, you know the rules by now. We're playing 10 ball, it's cool shot. 30 second shot clock. Early 10s do count, but not on the break. And $10,000 is up for the first prize. Five to the runners up. Already received two and a half thousand for semi finalists. And $1,250 just for turning up. Can't be bad, can it? Now, those two have played many times before in the world teams, of course, as well. Getting to the final against Joshua Filler and Pia Filler, who they defeated in the semi final earlier on today. And it will be Team Kelzakis to break off. Kelly Fisher will be looking to get some form back after going out quite early for her in the Las Vegas Women's Open. She'll be getting ready. This is like a warm up for the Invitational. Where's the cue ball going? Well, it managed to stay out. Seven ball went in the corner. And there is, I think, just a look at this one ball for Kelly to play safe off. I'm sure you all know the rules of 10 ball. It is cool shot. We are playing three foul rule as well. There you see Kelly calling for an extension. She has lots of experience of playing mixed doubles. Played with Darren Appleton and Jason Shaw. An inaugural team event in Austria a couple of years ago, and she teamed up with Phil Burford and Darren Appleton once again in Puerto Rico just last year. So a safety on the one. Oh, nicely played just behind as she made it. Oh, it might just be the thinnest of edges here. Team China get behind that nine ball. I say Team China. It's not Team China, of course. It's just a mix Scotch doubles. They are both from China. And called the nine ball, made the nine ball. So a nice little carom shot there from Chang Jun Lin. Nickname Rita. Playing this to the top left hand corner. Or top right hand corner as we look. Slides it off the rail beautifully. Now then, is there an early 10 available early on in this final? They are a very good team, these two. Kelly. A look. Yeah, and the early ten it is gonna be. It's just slightly offset, so she just has to cut the three ball slightly on the left hand side. So very, very important safety. Kelly just misjudged trying to get the hook. Left Chang Jung Lin. The Karam shot on the nine. And this looks like being one zero. the newest additions to Team Predator. So here we go. And she's missed it. Well, it needed to be a lot wider than that. And I've got to say, 
I am really surprised that she's missed that. Had to cut it a lot thinner. Quite a long way off. Looked like a little bit of a quick stroke as well. Maybe a few early nerves. So twice across the table from this three ball for Alex. Kelly into that four ball. Yeah, that's just about right. Can just stun to the side slightly for the five into the side or the corner. Just five balls away then. And drawing first blood. Nicely done. Now, is there a slight angle on this? Yes, a slight angle. Can just run through this. Now we we'll want some kind of angle. Yes, that's perfect. Stun off the side rail for the eight into the top right corner as we look on your screens now. So that mistake on the 310 from Chow Chow Yu looks like it's going to be very, very costly. I think Alex can just stun over to this side rail and leave the 10 into that middle pocket. just below centre perfect on this 10 ball so a dream start after that little mistake on the safety from Kelly and the smile and the fist pump and they're on their way and they'll feel a lot better in their chairs Jim Jim Lin will be looking forward to the men's 10 ball of course we have the women's showdown still to come as well this is the third event of five ten days at the biggest pool extravaganza in the world every year thousands converge in the rear all suites casino and hotel and we take up three rooms here Three big convention rooms, 50,000 square feet, 40,000 square feet, and 30,000 square feet. And in those three rooms, they managed to fit 310 seven foot tables, about 18 of these nine foot apex tables, and lots of booths that sell everything from tips to tables. Yeah, puzzled look on the face of Kelly there, and it is such a big shot, isn't it, in pool? Especially in 10 ball, four ball going very, very close. There's a rare sight, a pool player using a bridge. Right behind the 10 here is the intended target. Needs to get it tight. Now is the one rail cut off. Rail escape here, I believe. Um. Slight misjudgment, and we have seen quite a bit of misjudgment of kicks during the first five days. tournaments at the Rio. Kelly just giving her opinion on what she thinks might have happened. So 
bone in hand then. And a chance to redeem themselves. If you're just joining us, we are playing the final of the first ever Apex mixed scotch doubles here. And there were eight teams that started out this morning. It's a one day event, single elimination. Kelly and Alex beat Wei Chu Chen and Coping Yi in their first match. And then Margaret and Tyler Steyer were the next victims. The other side of the draw. We had Fedor Gorst and Christina to catch, who went out in straight sets to Pia and Josh Villa. And then Pia and Josh went out to these two at the table right now. So it's just a nice little tournament. 25,000 dollar prize fund. We couldn't really do too much with the cue ball there. We expect Rita to make this one. But it is missable. is absolutely perfect just to send the cue ball in its natural path up towards the seven just don't get straight on the seven maybe just a little bit of work to do eight to nine and then nine to ten but shouldn't be a problem packed crowd here I always think watching a good pair play scotch doubles is just beautiful. It's kind of like a, a ballet. Playing in total harmony, a great rhythm. And we're all square one, one in this first set of a possible three. And just to let you know guys that if it does go to a deciding set and we get to the scoreline of 3-3, there will be one of those shootouts that we absolutely love and the players absolutely hate. Those two played together in the not those two, the other two, played together in the final of the world teams in Puerto Rico back in November last year. Alex, of course, from Greece in Athens, spent many, many great holidays in Greece, traveling around all those beautiful islands, the islands they have, Eos, Naxos, Paros, Mykonos, Santorini, Lovely country, great food, great people. Back to the match then. 1-1, one, one, nicely poised. Ken Chang, make a ball on the break. Oh, one ball got kicked away. Anything down, you need four, you, well, you need six eyes, don't you, when you're watching Paul. Nothing down though, it's dry. Great big pop in the cue ball there. Tim De Reuter would be proud of that one. I wonder what he'd say about that break. Yeah, 
Alex had quite a good run also in the Las Vegas Open. First ever PBS Tour win for the amazingly talented Lee Van Corteza, 44 years old. He's well known on the tour by all his fellow players. They all know how good he is, and now the whole world knows how good he is. Played absolutely fantastic against Carlo Biardo in the final. actually lost out to Lee Van Corteza in the quarterfinals, went out in straight sets. Now this is quite a nice distance to jump this. Kelly has the air rush in her hand, just gave the playing cue to Alex to look after for a while the corner just slightly awkward bridging around the pocket she can use the rails though there's a perfect side on view great technique oh, she's not happy with that and players are getting so good with the short stick now that they kind of you know get annoyed with themselves when they miss a shot like that because it was one of those that was a nice distance to jump Junglin, keeping the pressure on, but I tell you what, that's a little bit dangerous putting that 10 ball there because if Alex can make contact with this, he will call the 10 ball, but has to hit it, of course, otherwise leaves the easy combo for their opponents. And I think he has got the one round kick at this. Maybe not. And if he goes this way, he can play the carom onto it. Essential, he hits it. Oh, and he's just missed it. Very, very thin miss. And unfortunately, well, Rita missed the 310 in the very first rack. I don't think, well, how has that not hit that one ball? I don't think she's going to miss this 110, and she doesn't. And it goes a nice, easy 30-10. For Chow and Chang, they lead 2-1, redeemed herself from the 3-10 earlier on. Chang Jumlin getting up to help get the balls out, there weren't any to get out. Shame we haven't got the microphones on the players for this event. We did have well teams. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Me learning in Chinese for this event, and all of a sudden we don't have them mic'd up. What's going on, guys? So, winner breaks, of course. Chow Che Yu's turn to get that BK rush working. She's chosen the red one look. Red, blue or gold. Oh, very, very close to this side pocket. It's dry again. Now, is there a path through to this one ball? I don't think so. One went very close, caught the point. Thought it might go in the other side. The nine got in the way. I'm just 
doesn't look possible, does it, from that angle? Just twisted the cue ball around with some left hand spin. Now can she slide past? Three does, I think, go past the 10 volt. Not playing the combo here. Yeah, and there you can see, look, the four ball just goes past the nine. I think can play the five into the other side. This is the potential banana skin here. It has to be careful of that eight ball and the five, and sorry, and the ten. Judged it to perfection. And just off straight would be nice. And Alex racing round. Just tell Kelly where he wants that cue ball. I might be able to run it through, yeah, and leave an angle. side rail eight into the side this is good stuff looks like we're going to be going level Hand spin, a nice straightforward, easy ten bolt. Kelly push up this pump, the square again, and they've got the break back. Now, can they get the break working? It will be Alex to break. I'm sure you're all having a nice little chat watching us on Billiard TV and the Predator YouTube channel. What's your opinion on this new format on the Predator calendar? Hope it's here to stay I and mean, we'd love to see it increase to maybe 16 teams next year. That would be kind of good. Alex to break off, looking to get on the hill and gain the advantage. Disappointment written all over the face of man from Athens nothing doing the good news of course is no shot on the one so it will be a push out will it he's going for the kick he's going all out here calling the one inside I guess he kind of has to here Oh, he's got the cue ball as well. That's unfortunate. Caught it 
Absolutely dead straight. That's when you don't want to hit a ball perfect. And he manages a little smile. Rita poker faced. Yeah, you see the top spin. Taking the cue ball into the side pocket, following the one. So this is a really good chance now. Okay, six and seven. Maybe a slight problem. Also, yeah, maybe playing the going for the safety here. Maybe going to try and open a couple of balls up here and get nicely in behind the four ball and maybe break out a couple of balls as well. I was lost the cue ball. And I think, uh, no, is there just the slightest of edges on? If not, it will be the kick and stick. And that's a lovely wall of balls to get behind as well. Uh, who remembers the story as we see? Chow Chayu play a really nice shot there. Alex Kazakis was about to play Shane Van Boning in the final of the Masters. He already had that loss to David Alcady, the very famous loss with that bank shot. He wasn't feeling very confident and he was talking very negatively and Kelly Fisher very famously slapped Alex around the face and said look come on you're in the final you're as good as anybody and we all know what happened then I don't think Shane Van Boning got a rack did he Alex played incredible Three ball might be going close here. Oh, look at this. Did he call the two? He did. Oh, no, he hasn't scratched again, has he? Oh, there was some spin on that. And it just kept the cue ball out. If it had been the opposite spin, it would have taken it in. But it checked it off the rail. Great shot from Chang Jung Lin. Look at that. Spinning in the opposite direction. Hits the point of the pocket. And checks up and almost stops. Another tester though. Didn't go for it. He's gone for the safety. Now there's a two rail kick on here again. For Kelly. I think it does. Three ball side. Possibly in the side also. <laughs> going in the side pocket. Still the problem. The six and the eight. This is the problem with Temple when you're breaking from the side, you invariably get little clusters. So run outs are never easy. The more open break is the one from the centre of the table, but players don't really like playing that because if you don't make a ball, you've opened the rack for your opponents. Can he just hold the cue ball? 
make that six available into the same pocket. Has he come far enough? Oh, an anxious look. Extension on the queue. Oh, this is tight, isn't it? Is it just a safety sending the six around or can she make it? Yeah, just sending the six around. Well, I'm not sure that's hard enough. She slaps the table in disgust. He's a cool guy, isn't he? Not much upsets him. It was always going to be the problem, that six ball. Now you see Rita slapping the bed of the table. She knew as soon as she hit it, she wasn't going to get the hook. Now is he going for the bank here? No, just a side to side. Well, that's a poor shot. It's a very poor shot from Alex Kazakis, I'm afraid. Still work to do though to get on that eight ball. I'm not sure it's available to any pocket. Will he try to open them up here? Maybe risk it now? No. Well, the way Rita just pointed there, maybe the eight ten is wired to the top corner. Well, it must be because she hasn't attempted to move it. There is a gap between them, so if it's not quite on, it's very, very makeable. And in it goes. And out I go. We're going to go for a very, very short break, guys, and we'll be back with the conclusion of the first set. See you soon. A very warm welcome back to the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino here in lovely, lively Las Vegas. There's a nice crowd here in the early evening. Very nice. Here we go then. Break again. Look at the 10 ball dropping in and a path through to the one. So a chance then to close out this first set and get one hand on the inaugural trophy. 
of the Apex Mixed Scotch Doubles. Started with eight amazing pairs. Alison Fisher and Shane Van Boning. We expected big things from them, but they went down to Tyler Starr and Margaret Fefalova, I believe. Nicely in this three ball. I think there's just a slight angle. Let's get the cue ball down towards the four. Can go through with left hand spin I'm going to welcome into the booth with me Tim the writer hi Tim Tim will be with us very very shortly See Rita over the top. This 10 ball, awkward cue in. Oh, and she's caught the 8 ball. Could have been a lot worse. There's a shot now. It's the 6 ball. Down into the bottom corner. That could so easily have got itself hidden behind the 7 there. Digging down, stun off the side rail, over by the nine kind of area. All oh, gone short side. Thought he might have come across the face of the seven, maybe didn't have the angle. This is a tricky little shot along the rail for Rita. Beautifully stroked in. Wow, this is a class performance, taking their chances. Great chance now to take the opening set. Just over a decent angle on this nine, which he has. Nine in the ten ball for the first set. Glimpse of our photographer there, coin flip Matt crouching down to get that all important shot. There he is, look, Mr. Coin Flip. I think he takes around 10,000 photos during an event, maybe more at this one. You're on TV, Matt, and opening set then to Chang Jun Lin. Chow Tae Yu, waiting for the ball to stop. They lead in this final, and they've got one hand on the trophy, the first ever Apex Mixed Doubles trophy. <coughs> Just a few stats for you to look at, guys. In the table time, break success absolutely level 33% each. Maybe is a little telltale sign there. Two fouls for Kelly and Alex, and they were very expensive ones. One of them cost them the, the 110 combo, and we're back.
once again it's dry out Apologies guys for a little technical error, we're just working on fixing it for you. So I'm going to jump then for an early 10. We've already had one early 10 from Rita. Oh, and she scratched. Oh, and the 10 ball going close in the side as well. It wasn't a bad jump. She landed right on the back of that one ball. Good effort. Okay, so let's see if the sound is working nicely now. Would be nice if everything works. So they haven't had a chance for a while. I need to take advantage of this. Need to get a good start in this second set. It's best of three sets. They lost the first 4-2 as you can see on your screens. The chips are down for Fish and Kazakis. If they were playing a ring game, you could say Fish and Chips. on this four I'm just can can you just screw past just draw past the five uh, sorry past the six or just yeah just roll it through that's okay
So, a little bit late, but I'd rather be in it a little bit late. Ooh! Oh, that just, just barely dropped. Team Casa Fischer with the first rack in the second set. That was quite close, both laughing. They felt like they had to make it and were actually close to miss it, that 10 ball. Especially losing the first set. Definitely needs to do something around in this second set. Of course, it's winner break, so could be done. The balls favor in their way. But not this way, so chance for Chang Chao. Difficult to get to the two ball, that's the main thing. Could be playing for safety on the two ball. Yeah, I don't think he's, he could have been better than he is. get something on the three ball that's the big question difficult two row kick from Kazak Fisher Kazakis really tough especially because the side pocket comes into play So did not choose to get shape on the three ball. Just try to position to where they can play a decent safety on the three. Could shoot the three ball in the four, cue ball behind the five. Hopefully you can hear me, Tim. Yeah. 
yes, finally we can have Mark back. I do think we're both actually in this match. That's great to hear. We've had a little sound issue here and there, so it would be nice if we could do be doing this with the both of us. Well, it is Scotch doubles after all, Tim, isn't it? <laughs> nice, nice catch-up. I like it. Oh, and that was quite a mistake from Kelly. Three ball was awful thin. So Cho, I was going to say just Cho and Chang are looking to level the score and definitely looking in stroke too, a little bit more dominant so far. Yeah, they were in perfect harmony, Tim, in the first set, they really, really well towards the end of the first set. And it's worrying times for Kelly and Alex. They only need this set, of course, to be crowned the champions. Perfectly on the six here. Ooh. They got a little short on this seven ball. Would have been nicer to cross over just a bit more to come back down for the eight. Show telling. Chang, well, you don't have to get too low if you can get on the high side, but it's not, it's awkward. It's not easy. Oh. Really good recovery. Definitely used everything of that side pocket to get the cue ball there. And show, oh, she hit that so good. That was, that looked so easy compared to how tough that actually was to hold the eight ball. And you know, I think the good thing is, Tim, it shows that every day that she's using that new equipment, she's getting more and more feel for it. You know, that was a perfect example, beautifully played. On that eight ball. Yeah, especially with how big the angle was, it's so tough to kill the cue ball. The cue ball is most likely going to gain speed after the rail as well. And I actually felt like she under hit the ball. Like she, it, it, it felt like she was going to be too short even on the nine ball, even though with, with the angle she had. So just saying how pure the stroke was on that shot and how she had the perfect combination of the inside spin and the drag killing all the speed of the rail. And of course these two ladies will be involved in another new event that we have from Predator, the Women's Showdown. Chao Cha Yu will be up against Margaret Fefalova in her first match. Kelly Fisher will be up against Christina to catch. That's coming, starting tomorrow. Back to this one then. Looking good. Chao Chao Yu and Chang Jun Lin. Look at that for a picture, Tim. Oh! Flirting with that side pocket, but they are on the one ball. Plenty of pop for you there, Tim. Plenty of pop. <laughs> yeah, just the accuracy was a little scary. But she can go two rails. Oh, okay. So they have played one rail. I was expecting two rails. Tried to stay on the other side of the two ball at least. Chang might have to run into the three ball here. Don't think he can avoid it. 
attention. I may just brush it past the seven, may even just catch the seven ball the three. Oh, he's going the other side, Tim. I thought he was playing the other corner. Well, originally I was thinking the same thing that they were going to go to the other corner. This actually does make more sense because there was no future in, in playing into the other corner and running to the three ball. So this is a clever change around in the rack. And look at how the balls are laying as well from that positional shot from the three to the four. Uh, the, well, the two to the three and the three to the four. Back in position now, prime position. Nicely judged through the gap. Such a beautiful thing to watch Scotch doubles when it's played like this. Both players totally in sync with each other. It's pretty to watch. Yeah, I was going to say that the team Casa Fischer in the semi-final, they, they had a very similar rhythm and they're very alike, just in playing style. So I was going to start thinking that they actually did have a huge chance in winning this final. But of course, I've missed the first set. Cho and Chang must have been amazing in the same way. I haven't seen all the pairs play, of course, but they look to be... <laughs> they look to be very smooth together. Just great chemistry. You can just look at them too. Yeah, I mean, the score line these may be a little flattering for Chow and Chang in the first set. It was a little bit closer. Maybe the score suggests they did have their chances, Kelly and Alex, but didn't take them. And a couple of little safety errors really was the main difference in the first set. And now 2-1 up in the second, they're looking big favourites. And they've been breaking better as well than Alex and Kelly. Well, it's especially those little details that do make a huge difference in these short races to four. Of course, we got a couple sets of them, so that definitely edges it out. But the break is always a huge factor. It doesn't matter if you play these best out of three races to four, race to 13, race to 25. If you do not succeed on the break, you can go home. power in that one but she's made the seven and look at this Tim perfect on the one ball yeah and th this is just just a pure example you know like things are definitely going her way she's made the seven got super close on the one a really wide layout yeah, what more can they wish for Just got the little bit between the pocket, the opening between the pocket. Looks pretty straight as well, Tim. Can she draw back? She, that, that might be her only option, but jacked up in the pocket, drawing back to where she is now, or could she use the long rail? She might be in a real bad spot here, and this might be just what team Casa Fisher needs. That guy looking very calm in the audience in his blue shirt. I'm sure he looked up, saw himself on camera and thought, I'm going to play it cool. Wow, what a shot this is. Oh, 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 I'm not sure that's the way it was played, but what a great shot. 
even the tap on the leg from Alex Kazakis there. Fabulous shot. Look at the top spin on that. Yeah, definitely a beauty of a shot. Had to make something happen there, and she has. Now if Chang can leave the cue ball at least the center of the table, I was going to say. He played just okay. I mean, it's, it gets more sensitive now on this kind of angle. Got to go to the short side of the five, but if you play a little bit too much stun, a little bit too firm, you might not get the shape. So, very sensitive stroke on this four. Beautiful. A little nod of approval there from Kelly. This is to get on the hill as well. Double hill. Impressive stuff. I mentioned earlier, Tim, they play together, of course, in the world teams in Puerto Rico. They got to the final there, didn't they, China? Yeah, they, they are just... Actually, in every tournament they enter, they are at the business end, for sure. So, of course, always a force to be reckoned. What a shot she's just played there, left-handed. Played a great draw stroke, left-handed. Yeah, they have such a similar style. If you look at how they're floating around the table, and that's just, you know, it's really satisfying actually to watch the, the way how they float around the table and their demeanor, so similar. A couple of ice dancers or ballroom dancers in perfect harmony. Pretty to watch. And they've got one hand on that trophy now, surely, Tim. So let's just yes. talk very briefly, Tim, about the women's showdown tomorrow, the eight top seeds against eight invited seeds. What have you looked at the draw? A couple of great matches stand out for me. Jasmine Ocean will be up against Sao Sao once again. They played, of course, in the Las Vegas Open. Alison Fisher up against her good friend Wei Chu Chen. Christina Zlateva against Amber Chen. Pia Filler will be playing the Australian. Bean Hung. And look at this for a beautiful first round match. Han Yu will play her fellow country lady, Simin Chen. So there's some real tasty matches in that. Starts tomorrow from 4 p.m. local time. Back to this one then. Can they complete the task and lift the first ever Apex Mixed Doubles trophy? Oh, beautiful. What a break. What a break. Oh, look at what this. What a break. Oh, oh the two God. ball, was it gone? <laughs> this is so unlucky. Look at the cue ball. Stopped right there. I was going to say this is a perfect break. Makes three balls on the break, and then that kiss on the cue ball and the kiss on the two ball. I was close saying those magical words. Well, I don't think I've ever heard you say it, but I will still wait until that day, Tim, where I hear those magical words. That's a perfect break. <laughs> the guru will be satisfied, finally. <laughs> I was close. I was very close this time, trust me. Oh, boy. I mean, it's kind of unlucky. I don't... If they have a bank on the two ball, they could go at it. She's aiming she low. Right out the way. She's aiming low. They were just... I think they were playing a little bit more conservative. 
there's another big route to get the cue ball out. Our audience captivated. Let's get the cue ball maybe behind the 10 here. I'll just play it softly, Tim, and hide behind the four. Six, how would you go about this one? I think they can clip the two ball still behind the six four. Don't don't try to get the cue ball behind the ten because then the two ball is gonna leak out more. Just play object ball. Make sure you don't leak out. Okay, so that task is done. Of course, I was always gonna leave a kick on the two ball, but I mean, what what would you rather do? Leave the two ball in the open and risk more, or just make sure you get some cover and buy yourself more time? Just gotta hope he doesn't kick this in the corner. He's probably called it. Wow, Ooh. that's a result for Fisher and Kazakis. Alex and Kelly are back in this second set. How, how quickly things can change. Almost a perfect break, Tim. And now they're looking second favourites for this particular rack. Well, the only thing they still got to figure out is... Oh! Oh! Oh, no. She's played the two ball too far. She... Alex won't be able to cut the, four, uh, the two ball. Yeah, is it worth going round first to make it because the four ball isn't on? Well, he's going for it. I suppose he has to. Yeah, there, there's no other safety as well. You make the two, hopefully. Oh. The four on the side. I mean, they still have. <laughs> they still have something at this four ball. He that made one something relieved. Happen. One relieved Kelly Fisher there. Got him. He got her out of trouble, didn't he? Well, still, we're not there yet because the four has to go in the side, the side bucket. You don't want to have the six ball interfere and the five doesn't go to the corner because of the eight. Oh, it does now. The four goes. What can you say? It, it was tough. It was a really tough one, especially when that far ball did get tied up. This was a must make and hold the cue ball. It was, it was a difficult shot. Oh, yeah. shit. It all stemmed, didn't it, from that mistake with ball in hand. Well, Cho did hit that eight ball very thin, so not enough speed on the cue ball, and they got Harcourt on this five. He's going to play the cut. Cue ball will be. No, no he's not. Going behind the ten, very conservative shot. It's a great shot, brilliant. Yeah, and there is a reason why Team Chinese Taipei got to the final in the World Team Championships. And also, because of this man right here, he's a danger. He is a dangerous man, I tell you. He is such a good doubles player as well. So he, he's got so much skill. It's difficult to beat him. <coughs> this is not a horrible hit either. He was even replicating his little dance there, Tim, from Puerto Rico. A little bit of a celebration when he got be behind that Tim ball. Good to see a bit of emotion. Big shot, this. Is she going all out or is she going behind the tent? 
will oh, help. Oh, John, so I'm surprised, to be honest. If you go all in on that shot, why not play draw? She played top spin. I, I wasn't too sure if she was going to get future after. Now the same thing for Chang. Of course, there is a bank, but no future. So he is going to cut the six ball to the top short rail. Yeah, oh, he, he did call the ten. Call the ten. Did he call the ten? Good. Well, I'll tell you what, that wasn't a bad attempt. Very, very close, and it would have been all over in the blink of an eye. They would have been shaking hands. Look how close he got. A little bit more left hand spin, Tim. And he would have made that. Yeah. That was really close. Now, Kelly is going to try and overcut the six, and if she makes it, then she still has a chance on the eight. Oh, she played it all in. Oh, she went all in. Did she get lucky? <laughs> she did get lucky. Whoa. Oh, boy. The crowd want to see more, don't they? They don't want this to end right now. They want to see another set. I would say they want their money's worth, Tim, but they didn't have to pay to get in, so... <laughs> well, there is a kick and stick. So this might be a bad trap for Kaza Fisher. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this was the shot. Perfect shot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I remember Phil Burford doing that in Puerto Rico in reply to Chang. Do you remember that moment? Yeah. You know, I, I I do like the atmosphere, you know, around these players. Like, especially playing this, these doubles, it just gives a little bit more than just just singles play. You know, the, the characters come out a little bit more. Oh, this is not... Oh, uh, I was going to say hit, not. But... Yeah, of course, it was going to be tough to get the six ball safe after contacting it. Six ball wide in the open, so much room at the table, so looks like just three balls to get the cheese. Yeah, the blue cheese. Ooh. Well, needs it to run. It's a nervy one. It's not over yet. Just saying oh, she doesn't want the extension. Yeah, she played a brilliant shot left-handed earlier. Drew back off it. Oh, she's she missed it. it. Whoa. Yeah, I think that was a little bit risky to play that. She was playing it with lots of inside English as well. She's overcut it. Wow. Yeah, I just when she that felt back so, and bite her. She felt so comfortable playing that with inside spin and left-handed because she was. Just bridging over the ten ball. I, I just don't see why. Take the bridge or take the extension. Oh, I'm not sure what happened it. there. Drama at the end of this second set. Will it be the last set or will we go to another one? Well, we do have one of the best players under pressure shooting the money ball basically he doesn't want to touch the 10 note and he didn't and look at that another celebration he's dancing he's he's going all in he's doing the okie koki he's putting one in the not this year, but I think overall, Tim, a very, very entertaining tournament from the eight pairs that took place. We're going to go for a quick break, I believe, and come back with a presentation of the first ever Apex Mixed Scottish Doubles Championship. And there are your winners. Thanks, Tim De Reuter. I've been Mark White. We'll see you soon. Thank you and enjoy.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2024 Las Vegas Women's Open Award Ceremony. We are hosting at the CSI Expo in the Rio Austin Hotel Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada. Our founding partners are the Predator Group and Q Sports International. Our title sponsor for this award is Rums of Puerto Rico. Our official partners are Yalin, Kamui Brand, Medaglia Light, Rums of Puerto Rico, and Samsung TV. Our event is played on the best equipment in the world. Predator Apex Pro Pool Tables comes with Predator Arcadia Performance Cloth, with Predator Arcos 2 Balls, and under the Predator Arena Video Lights. Right now, I'd like to introduce our dignitaries for the award presentation. Representing the Predator Group, COO, Mr. Cyril Fournier. Representing Yalin, President, Eric, Ding, and Susie Wong, the General Manager. And now, the moment you all are waiting for, our Apex Mixed Doubles Champion, Chang Jung Ling and Frida Cho. <laughs> Mr. Susie and Eric will present the trophies. Mr. Fournier will present the check. <laughs> Our Apex Mixed Double Champion, Chen Zhong Wen and Rio Cho. This concludes our trophy ceremony. Thank you again to all our partners and sponsors who made this event possible. We will be back in the Predator Pro Arena with the PBS Women's Showdown and the 2024 Predator WPA World 10 Ball Championship. Thank you everybody for coming. Good night.